Hey, what's going on YouTube? Uh, my name is Francisco. You could call me Cisco. Uh, just doing this channel because I thought maybe, just maybe, some of the perspectives that I have might be able to help some of you people out out there in your relationships and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, why you should listen to me. Well, one, I got married uh, to a super awesome, amazing man. And uh, my husband's awesome. Um, a lot of that had to do with, you know, coming to understanding and being there for each other and whatnot. But um, that's not what this video is about. <laughs> This video is about a little snippet of what happened. So the title of the video is Sex is Like a Cup of Coffee. That is literally our first date, first conversation, like, let's go, right? So the story goes like this. Uh, Chris and I met a while back and I, and I promise to tell you the story about that later. So Chris and I met a little while back and um, I decided, you know what, let's do this. Let's go on the date. All right. So I make the first one and I'll say, Hey, like, let's go on the first date. Let's do this thing. And uh, he, we go to the Puerto Rican day parade here in New York city and we're having a good time. You know, we're walking. He comes up to me. He's like, that's the most I ever walked in my entire life. And I'm like, you know, lots of shady comments in my head, and I'm just like, you know what, all right, all right, all right. I mean, all I want is just some ass, so, like, if you got to walk a little bit, you know, it's, it's not going to hurt you, <laughs> right? But anyway, <clears throat> so after that, I said, you know what, let's go out to eat, you know, so we did a movie, and uh, I can't remember the movie. I think, oh, The Purge. Oh, guys, The Purge was awesome. So we did The Purge, and uh, then we went to a sushi spot out in Times Square and it was exciting it was great we sat down the place was the place was um it was early in the afternoon so the place was kind of empty so it was perfect so we sat down and we're having this conversation you know with the sh with the with the waitress and everything else and then I say okay hey look Chris you know I want to tell you something he's like oh what's up and I said listen in order for this to happen, like in order for you and me, like to happen, you know, you know, I got a, I got a few rules, right? And let me, split, let me split off from that real quick. So the thing is, is that at the time I was 20, 28 or 27. And, um, you know, you just get to a point where you're just like, you know what? Fuck this shit. Like, you know what? I'm going to tell you the truth. I'm going to tell you how it is, like, for me. And if that doesn't work for you, cool, I'm going to move on. Like, I'm not I'm not here to waste anybody's time. It's always good to start the foundation of just starting, like, right from the beginning, straight up. Tell them what it is. If that doesn't work for them, good, because you know what? Would it have worked 10 months down the line if they don't even understand you in the first date? Now, I'm not saying that it doesn't take work, you know, to get to know each other. But what I am saying is that who are you kidding who are you fooling you know if you start if you start saying it straight out from the from the get-go then that's it like there's no there's no reason for them to come back at you and say later oh you weren't like how you said you would be oh you weren't like how i thought you were gonna be like no fuck that i told you exactly how i'm gonna be like so it's no surprise to you six months down the line that i'm the way that i am like no I'm not trying to give you any kind of surprises. <clears throat> so anyway, we sit down and like first date, first everything, the first thing that comes out of my mouth is sex is like a cup of coffee, right? So, you know, he's sitting there and he's looking at me, the lights from the restaurant, you know, are kind of shining down on me as I'm saying all these things to him. And he's telling me that he has butterflies in his stomach, you know, because clearly I'm super sexy. Like, <laughs> Right. Anyway, no, true story. He really did say that he had butterflies in his stomach. He'll never admit it, but I'm telling you. All right. You know, so I say sex is like a cup of coffee. I want you to understand this and I'm telling you this so that way it doesn't come as a surprise to you later on. He says, all right. I said, look, you know, I'm a New Yorker. You know, I'm a Latino. You know that. And I love my Bustelo Espresso. Like, that's the cup of coffee that I absolutely love. That's the one that I have at home. That's the one, that's my go-to. Like, that's everything to me. 
you know, any other coffee is shit. But understand that every once in a while, very rarely, but every once in a while, I'll go out there and I'll taste different cups of coffee. Just because. I want to taste different cups of fucking coffee. Because I like coffee. And he says, okay, I understand. I understand. And I said, no, listen. I really want you to get that. Sex, to me, is like a cup of coffee. You, you get it? He's like, yeah, yeah, I get it. I get it. I'm all right, cool. So, all right, listen. Also, jealousy does not work for me. Jealousy is an ugly color. It's a disgusting color. I don't do that. I don't want you coming after me being like, oh, who you with, where you at, why you with them, what time you going, what time you coming back, like, oh, why you got to do it with them, why can't you do it? No, 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 fuck that shit. Don't interrogate me. There's a difference between asking me a question because you're genuinely interested in where I'm going and then there's interrogation. No, fuck you. No, 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 no. You don't interrogate me. Jealousy is an ugly color. I don't appreciate it and I think it's an ugly, ugly thing to wear. Because I would never come to you. Because anything that I'm telling you, I expect that in return. From me to you as well. So it's like, if I tell you that, oh, hey, oh, I'm going to go out there and I'm going to fuck some guy. I'm expecting you to do the same thing. You know, whether you want to or not is your choice. But anyway, so I, I tell him, yeah, jealousy is another color. I don't like that. I would never ask you, you know, oh, why are you doing it with whom and why? What time? No, I would never ask you that, nor do I, nor do I expect that from you to me. Also, um, I don't really do the whole, oh, we're exclusive. No, 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 no. No, no, no. We are two people enjoying each other's time, enjoying each other's company, and enjoying each other's bodies. Okay? Understand that. This is who we are. You know? We're enjoying each other. We're literally enjoying each other. I'm getting to know you. You're getting to know me. Okay? And that's what we do. Okay. And I also said, look... If I want to go out there and I want to have dinner with my exes, I'm going to go out there and have dinner with my exes. If I want to go out there and have lunch with my exes, I'm going to have lunch with my exes. If I want to go out there and go on a date with my exes, I'm going to go on a date with my exes. You know, because there is no way in your life that you're going to come to me and you're going to tell me, oh, I don't want you hanging out with this person. Who the fuck are you? Like, no, no, no. That doesn't work for me. That doesn't work for me. Now, with everything that I've said... Do you want to play? Right? And he said, you know what? That's a different perspective. And you know what? I'll play along. Why not? So he sticks the proverbial quarter inside the machine and we start playing. Right? So the game starts, you know, and that was literally our first date. And, you know, some people are going to say, oh, how can you, how can you be so harsh? Like, like that would make anybody run away. Maybe anybody that's not worth my time. Because I came at you and I said, hey, listen, this is how you play with me. This is how we get to know each other. This is how I am. Because, again, I don't want later on for you to come to me and be like, oh, you not who I thought you were. Yeah, fuck out of here. I told you exactly who I was, you know, I, I, and I did you a favor by telling you exactly who I was, like, from the start. And there were no surprises, you know. I mean, it gets better. The seed that I planted wound up being moving from metaphorically to physically, but that's a whole different story. That's for another day. <laughs> yeah, that's for a whole different day. But um, anyway, what I'm trying to do with this is I'm trying to give you guys perspective. I don't care if you're gay, straight, asexual, I, 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 pansexual. I, I, I don't care. I don't care. What I'm doing here is I'm trying to offer you guys a different perspective, you know, on relationships. We're in 2018. You know, and it's just like the divorce rate is somewhere near like 60 percent. And you want to know why? Because no one tells the fucking truth. No one tells the fucking truth to their partner. Everyone's, everybody wants to hide something or or they don't want to do something because, oh, that might offend. No, 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 no. I'm the first one to tell you that you got to be selfish in a relationship. 
you have to be absolutely selfish and you have to do you. You know why? Because you don't suddenly merge into this one fucking hybrid person that all of a sudden everything we do is together. No, 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 no. Let me tell you something. When you met your guy or your girl, right? The reason why they liked you and fell in love with you in the first place is because of your individuality and your uniqueness, not because of suddenly you're this like, like, like hybrid, you know, fucking person that it's, oh my God, we're going to the farm and, and we're doing all this stuff together. And while the dude is a fucking construction worker that likes to visit titty bars. No, that doesn't fucking work. The dude doesn't want to go to a farm. He wants to go to a bar because that is his world, you know, but anyway, that's a little snippet. So I'm going to keep doing this, you guys, maybe offer you a different perspective. The, the big lesson here in this one is, you know, to be honest in your relationships, be honest and be yourself. It's, it's the reason why they liked you in the first place. So why are you hiding yourself? You know, something to think about. Anyway, part two will be about something else. I don't know. I'll figure it out. I'll catch you guys on the next one.